All right, everybody, let's continue on with my player. I am really hoping to finishing this by NBA 2K15 finishing up this season. So I think what I'll do is I'll try to play a bunch of games off camera because there's like 30 games left. As long as I'm right that there is 82 games in a season. And hopefully when I get NBA 2K15, I can actually do the franchise mode because I kind of lost track of that in this game. In the ultimate team for this game too. Oh yeah, I guess try to do that and that will be the ultimate the baseball card game. I'm already doing Madden, my player, ultimate team, and franchise. What I tr should try to do do all three modes in each NBA, Madden, and MLB game. And UFC is kind of just like floating around there. <laughs> I don't know. UFC is kind of the last priority because it hasn't been doing very well. Welcome everyone to this 2K Sports Broadcast live from the capital city of Rat. California. My dude's doing awesome dances, pumping up the Warriors. All right, let's do this. I need that bad taste of that Madden game out of my mouth. All right, let's do this. Let's beast up the Kings. Warriors are better than Kings. I like aggression, but it has to be properly Look at that. Kings can't even make a simple pass. Alright. Get selected to All-Star Team. Yes. That's right, baby. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Get on my face, boy. Get off me. Oh. Oh, no. Don't make the Warriors. Bait can't hit her. Ugh, get that on my face, son. No dice. I'm a warrior. That's right. The freaking warriors can swish. Alright. Come on, Thomas. That's what you can do. Thomas dishes to Landry. Oh. Okay. Outside Thomas. And the rebound goes to the Nice. Let's go, Warriors. Let's take over these Kings. Kevin, it was mostly the defensive effort that hurt them. Just no energy, no purpose. Steve, I thought they were late on their rotations. They didn't really communicate well, and as a result, they paid for it. Here's money. Yeah, right in your face, boy. That old lady fence. Just watching him go park right by. I think we might be seeing which team is ready to take control of this game. Yeah, that's a dunk that could absolutely get them going. I agree, Clark. And so here's Sacramento. The Warriors making the shot. And that's a foul. Ah! Oh, that sucked. Look at that. My dude's freaking pissed at that referee for making a wrong call. Screw you, referee. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Outside Thomas. There's the three. Offensive rebound. Give me that ball. What do you think you're doing? For the Come on, Thompson. Let's do this. Right in. Yeah. Alright. Come on. That's what you guys got. Like they should have, and once the fans got into it and the arena started rocking and thumping and bumping, <laughs> things only got worse. Well, yeah, Bogus, let's keep right moving, right, boys. He really is one of the elite interior defenders in the NBA. Give me that ball. Oh, kicked. Boy, this is not freaking soccer. So. No! God dang it. 
Taking a look at Golden State, they're having a solid season. Fifth in the conference and looking to move up. And checking out Sacramento, a few slots below them. Well, I think for Sacramento, I think they've got to be commended for getting to where they are in the standings. I mean, it's not exactly on top of the world, but it's a big improvement over last season. Uh, no doubt about that. Ooh, nice three. That's important. This team was embarrassed a year ago, but they took a lot of pride this season, and they put in a lot of work to get better. Going back to Bogut, you know, Clark, you mentioned his defense. Steve, offensively, ah. he's got some skills there as well. Yeah, his shooting touch has been hampered a bit by the elbow injury he suffered. But a skilled passer, he can dribble, and he can really make plays in the half-court off. God dang it. I jumped too early. God freaking dang it. All right. gone here in the first quarter. Curry passes to Bogut. Inside puts up the baby hook and contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. It's on Carl Landry. Well, this oh yeah. Has really energized the franchise. They've been very proactive. They purchased it. Right in. Baby. Plans to move them to Santa Cruz about an hour south of Oakland. And in order to accommodate the team's home games, they built a new 3,000 seat arena in a matter of months. David Lee's checked in for the Warriors. Things have kind of gone south for him. I gave it to Lee. Dang it. Oh, yeah. That's right. Well, offensively, he needs much less space to operate than most players. It's amazing how well he can get his shot off, even with somebody right in his face. You know, even the tightest defensive pressure doesn't seem to phase him in the least. I mean, you can attribute it to his concentration. Oh, what are you doing, boy? Or you could just say... Can't be freaking making personal fouls of my teammates, sir. No dice. No. No. Warriors leading by five. And the Santa Cruz Warriors, as they've been renamed, have been a hit. You know, Clark leading the D-League in revenue, making the D-League finals last season. And you know what? Nice. Assist. Assist. Yes. Than ever, and for the Warriors to have their D League affiliate so close by gives them a much better opportunity to develop their young talent. Here is Vasquez after the made shot from David Lee. Vasquez kicks to Patterson. Out left of the wing, six on the shot clock. Shot left. Block. Get that out of my face, boy! No! No! Thomas against Douglas. It's Curry outside. Oh, yes! Oh, I missed. Sacramento will go the other way with it. It's a victory here for the home team. Last time these guys met. Well, and they got the better of them that game, I thought, by forcing turnovers. Their defense was terrific. Ooh. Nice shot. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Earlier I spoke with Mike Malone. One player that he's talked to is... No! I missed! I missed! Dude, push me. Can't push me like that. Come on! Oh, Jesus! They're on a run. Thanks, Doris. Getting in the passing lanes. Oh no! No! Block him! Come on! Stop him! Come on! Ugh. That's why those defenders are in such high demand. Now here's Thomas. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against New York. And how about Dang it. How? What the frick? That was that my fault. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a nice look. Poor job by the defender to not fight over or around that screen. There we go. That one's good. I don't know what's happening to their defense. I mean, they, they don't have any effort, any purpose. And it's really costing them. I mean, the last five baskets at that end have been on very easy. Get that out of my face, boy. Success on the boards in this first quarter is any indication. It's going to be a good day. And rebounds usually are a good indicator. Back to Curry. Here's money. Goes to yeah. The right money's got his third bucket of the night and so the first quarter is in the books the warriors on top up by four and the second quarter will be on the way thursday benched 
Ah, uh, we're killing them. And Golden State looking at who they've got. Money in at power forward. Curry is out there with Tony Douglas. Then there's Harrison Barnes. And it's Bogut in at the five. Home in the paint. Here's Thomas. Count the bucket. Ooh. Thomas got his first basket. Boy, it was an impressive turnaround for Mark Jackson and the Warriors last season. I mean, his promise of making the playoff didn't come together in his first Ah. But in year two, they got it done. And I'll tell you what, most thought Mark would be a Oh man, come out. He's well on his way to making that a reality. And for Mark Jackson, there we go. He had never spent time as a coach, even as an assistant. And he just finished signing an extension through the 2014-15 season. Uh, you know, I guess the question was, Steve, would he be able to take over the reins as a head coach? Well, the biggest thing you want to do as an NBA coach is, is have your players buy into what you're selling. And, and Mark Jackson's been able to do that. His players believe in Oh. Come on, Bogut. Beat you bad. To the inside. Money. That's in. Coming right in, baby. And that's now 11 points for Money. They have repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And it's paid dividend. Yeah, it sure has, Clark. I mean, with, with as many points as they've gotten in the paint, they really haven't had to do much on the perimeter. Thomas, no luck. Give me that ball. Killing them with his poor shooting. The defense is more than willing to give him those shots now. Douglas with it. Guarded now by Patrick Patterson. And nice shot. shot. And it's a nine-point Warrior lead. He's one of the uh -oh. best in the league today. Even <laughs> with phone. a tiny sliver, he always seems to find a way to get it up and in. Horton up on top, defended by Douglas. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. You look at Marcus. Oh. A, a scoring guard. He can really light it up in a hurry off the bench. Lee's checked in for Golden State. C.J. Miles comes in for Harrison Barnes. And for Thornton, the second rounder back in 2009. His size does hurt him defensively, but you'd have to say he's exceeded expectations, Clark. I think so, Kevin. Uh, that was a bad shot. If I could maybe dunk over him. He is pretty locked in with tunnel vision offensively. He's myopic now at that end of the floor. He's oh, yeah. I blocked again, son. But in his role, I think he's perfect for it. Feeds the lead to the inside. Ah! Dang it. Come on, steal that. Now here's Thornton. Oh, well, good with the triple. All right. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. Warriors lead by seven. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? Thank you, Kevin. Steph, what's been the key to what's working well? And now, doing awesome. Let's get right to the Sprint Halftime Report. Presented uh, what, by Sprint. four blocks. And the second half about to start here in just a few moments. What a game we're seeing from Money. Yeah, it's been sheer dominance in the post by him so far, just tearing them up when he gets inside. And getting it to him is the only hard part. Once he has it, he's automatic. Yeah, yeah. And Thornton pairing up in the backcourt. Landry and Cousins patrol the paint, and it's Mba Amute in at the small forward position. That's the group for Mike Malone getting going here in the second half. Thomas kicks to Mba Amute inside to Landry. Oh, what the heck? My guy tripped. Landry's got six points. He kind of threaded the needle with that pass into the paint. Well, the business of the NBA in pretty good stead. The Kings sold back in May for a record price of $525 million, and Seattle, the Seattle group, had offered even more. Team value is certainly on the rise around the league. Better arenas, more lucrative TV contracts. Part of the reason that's the case. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Well, guys, money in the last outing against the All right. Simply terrific. He finished with 42 points and was in the zone as a shooter. Ah, oh, dang it, Bogut. There we go, Bogut. Thanks, Doris, for revisiting what was an astounding performance, Clark. It clearly was one of those games that when we look back on his career, 
this game will be right there among the best ever that he's played. Well, he was in the zone from the outset. It was just one of those games where he was feeling it. Everything is, was going his way, and, and he attacked. Oh, wow. Nice. He just attacked relentlessly. And back to the bidding war for the Kings with the great offer from the Seattle group. Steve, do you think there's a chance the league could expand to Seattle? I think so, uh, especially with that tremendous offer that the Seattle group put forward. Ah. Uh, God dang it. I think in the next few years, we will see at least one expansion team, maybe two. And a look at the top single season player efficiency ratings. I love this statistic. Wilt Chamberlain, Michael Jordan, yes. James. And we've got some more modern talent representing as well. Yeah, you're talking the elite Dang it. the game when you go down that list. Interesting to see a, a new school stat kind of juxtaposed with the old school legends. But... Yeah, the, the rankings obviously make sense if those guys are at the top. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Thank you, Kevin. Mark Jackson. Ah. First team over that break. He said we're missing out on second chance. Points. Yeah, there we go. Give him a little medicine. He also urged them to drive the lane aggressively on the uh. saying they won't be able to handle us if we can get bodies to the basket each and every time down the court. Perhaps the rest of the second half will look different after those adjustments, Kevin. Thanks again, Doris. Thompson outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Poked away. What the freak? Ah, I got it. Kings will retain possession here. Over the last ten, looking at the Warriors... Here's how they compare to the rest of the league. Sixth in assists, sixth in steals, and they're in the top 10 in fewest turnovers per game. And they really do emphasize taking care of the ball. And the, the top 10 in assist number that you talked about really is what stands out to me. It's a beautiful team to watch. They like to share the ball. They really work hard at the offensive end to make sure that yes, they're the best go. possible shot every time down the floor. Boy, have they been hitting the glass hard or what? Kind of surprising it's such a tight game. Yeah, you're right. Very rarely will you out rebound an opponent like that and not have nice, a beautiful jump shot. In their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. Curry against Thomas. He feeds it to McLemore from outside the arc. Again, the miss by the Kings. Warriors leading by five. Ben McLemore, 6'5", freshman shooting guard out of Kansas. He actually redshirted his first year in college, but as a redshirt freshman in year two, he really burst it onto the national scene. Right in, baby. Shooter and score. Well played right there, and you can feel the momentum changing. I think this league will continue to move upward unless something unforeseen happens. It's Thomas outside. Warriors with the rebound. Thompson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Oh, yeah! No question about the talent levels. It's terrific. A great athlete, deep range in his shot. It's really his personality that some scouts mark a question. Yeah, and I don't understand that. Sure, they would like to see him be a little more assertive offensively, but this is a young kid that I think will do what it takes to be outstanding in the NBA. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Kevin, I was able to hear the advice Mike Malone gave to his team during that last break. He made it clear that their offense needed to run through Cousins. Coach was obviously looking for big things from him in this game and is still hoping that takes shape very quickly. The other thing he touched on was the physical aspect of this contest. Oh, I jumped a little too late there. To make things happen. Those could prove to be crucial changes to their strategy with this game getting ready to enter the stretch drive, Kevin. All right, Doris, thank you very much. And what? Oh, crap. Well, you've seen some terrific offensive basketball over the last month. A lot of it thanks to the assist numbers put up by these point guards during that time. Look at Vasquez, third in assists and a great leader. These are the best passers in the NBA, guys, no question about it. Every one of them is willing and able to be the floor general out there and make sure the offense... Oh! Look at that. Fantastic. No dice. But it's not just their passing that makes them great. I mean, it's their leadership on the court. Even when the ball's not in their hands, their leadership is fantastic. Right in, baby. He's checked in for the Warriors. Douglas comes in for Steph Curry. 
Thomas with the ball. Now guarded by Douglas. Marcus Thornton on the wing. Puts it up. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. You know, they built their lead here by doing all the little things well. And one of those things has been rebounding part because they have really... Oh, I would have... Uh, <laughs> tried my first three ever. The pass to Patterson launches it. Good in the assist. Oh, bull crap. They changed my guy at the last minute. Something starting to click for this team, guys. You can feel it. The three pointers are dropping. Their offense is flowing. They've had a great second. There we go. I tell you what, fellas, we're seeing some really good ball movement out there. Yeah, well, 10 of their last 12 points have come off of assists. Here's Thornton. Oh, yeah. Get that out of my face. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the Aww. shot clock. <laughs> Come on, man. You stepped out of bounds. Come on, dude. Watch your feet. Here's Thomas. The rebound by. Give me that. No! Ah! God dang it! And it's Curry in at the one. The Kings trail by three. Thomas with the ball, picked up by Thompson. Ooh! Here's Cousins. Ah! Dang it! Cousins has got four points in the quarter. Love the way he fought for that putback. You know, he's willing to put in a lot of hard work in this game. No doubt about that. It's Bogut with the drive. Drilled from a nice shot. Field. And the Warriors lead by three. Sacramento's gone one or two from three point range here in the fourth. Now here's Vasquez. He's covered by Thompson. Vasquez kicks to Mba Amute. Shot clock at six. In low to Cousins. Ooh. Pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. Some hang time on that rim puts a little whipped cream on that angel food cake there. <laughs> it's, it's a tight ball game, <laughs> and those displays of strength, Clark. Right in, baby. Yeah. Oh, boy. Whipped cream, cherry on top. It's, it always comes back to dessert for Clark. <laughs> Vasquez dishes the tops. The drive by Cousins from down low. Again. Dang it. Put me on Cousins. Ah. I mean, he's made all four of his shots this quarter so far. Stolen by Landry. Vasquez with it. Picked up by Thompson. Thomas passes to Vasquez. Yes. Go, 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 go. Pass to Money. Thomas over to help. Thompson outside. Nice. Two free throws now for him. Well, he's got that quick trigger. Very quick trigger. Oh, man. Very aggressive. Well, defensive pressure is. Yes, there we go. In that instant when the pass gets. Now we're up by two. Finish this off. Marcus Thornton is checked in for Sacramento. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sideline. Hi, Kevin. I was able to hear the advice Mike Malone gave to his team during that last break. He really wants them to try to push the tempo here, see if they can get a few easy buckets in transition, saying, listen, we're playing station to station right now. Let's try to catch them off guard, guys. Let's see if they can do exactly that, Kevin. To tie it up. Ah, uh, no! That guy was stuck in a draw, a uh, jump in motion. Finally fought all the way back to even the score. We're back to square one, whole new ball game. And with a comeback like that, they've definitely got the upper hand going forward. Thompson outside, lets the free fly. Nice! Thompson's got six in the quarter. This guy will really make you pay if you leave him enough room outside. Kicks to Thornton, fourth three. It's no! Oh, that was an enormous oh man! They're starting to give him a little too much space here in the second half. That's his third three 
pointer since the break. Here's money. I missed. God dang it. Sacramento's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Thornton for three. And it's Thornton. Okay, good. They missed two. Kevin, critical possession here. Curry. Ah! No! No! Come on! We gotta stop him! Thomas kicks to Cousins. Pass to Landry to take the lead. Oh, he went past, right past me. What the frick? Dude, I freaking jumped, but my guy freaking jumped on the other side of him. Come on. Seconds left in the fourth quarter. Curry attacking inside. Here's money. Oh, he couldn't. No! What the freaking heck? Oh, come on. Exciting that part. They sure know that when it was gut check time, this team kept their composure, kept their emotions in check, and got it done. God dang it. Clark Kellogg and Oh, come on. Man. The good news is you got to play in the All-Star game. The bad news? It's kind of hard to qualify that as playing. What gives? What? Uh... Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I feel a little like I let these guys down out there tonight. And not just my teammates, but the fans too. They watch these games expecting to see greatness, and I just didn't deliver. Thankfully, there's 11 other guys on my team who were able to pick up my slack. If I'm lucky enough to get back here again, you can be sure I won't play like that again, man. What? What? Wait, how was that the All-Star game? What were they talking about? I don't know what the frick they were talking about. This is just a regular game against... Yeah, against the Kings. I don't understand that. Man, that freaking sucks. I tried. I don't know what happened that last freaking shot. Can't believe my guy misses that. Jeez.